It's okay not to be okay. You're down and you feel ashamed. Hello you guys, how are you? So you guys know that I love making packaging for music. Whether it's a mixtape I created as a gift or a musical packaging for an album I would like to own, sometimes in CDs and sometimes in cassettes. However, with time passing by, I go deeper and deeper into new territory. And as I get requested to do so, today we're venturing into the world of vinyl. Well, vinyl has never gone away, it is rather hard to get your very own copy pressed onto vinyl. So instead of showing you how to make packaging for a fan-made version of a vinyl, I will show you how to restore or create sleeves for vinyls you already have in your collection. While I'm still new to this, I wanted to start small. So today I'm going to show you how to make your very own 7-inch vinyl sleeves. And next week I'm going to show you how to make a 7-inch inner sleeve for vinyl. I have a few 7-inch vinyls that I got at a record store secondhand. They play beautifully, but the sleeves were either damaged, very plain, or non-existent. So I got to thinking and I came up with three different ways to make this. So let's get started. So this is a 7-inch vinyl single I got at a record store secondhand. While the vinyl is in great shape, this sleeve is not. It's just a piece of paper and it's ripping at certain points. So instead of keeping it like this, I'm going to recreate the artwork and print it to make it more resistant. Go to the description of this video and click on the link that says templates. This will take you to my OneDrive public folder titled Musical Packaging. Click on the folder templates and then on the folder called Vinyl. Download the file titled 7 inch vinyl sleeve and open it using Photoshop. Once it's open, you should get this. The top is going to be the front cover and the bottom is going to be the back cover. Or if you want to do it sideways, flip it 90 degrees to the right and the left is going to be the back cover and the right is going to be the back cover. This just depends on where you want your vinyl to come out, the top or the side. Now, to recreate your artwork, you have two options. You can either scan the insert in high resolution and arrange it into the template or you can search for a scan on the internet. If they are poor quality, using the tools provided by Photoshop, you could recreate it, anything from the text to the images, to make it look high quality. This is the option that I offer for. Don't forget to color the flaps a similar color as the cover. Once you finish, go back to the description of this video and click on the link once again. Open the folder called Paper Size and download the file Tabloid Size. It has to be this size. If your printer cannot print this size, try going to a printer center. They usually have different sizes available. Open the file, then go back to the first file and, with all the layers merged together, select the marquee tool and highlight the whole frame. Press Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on Mac and this will copy your file. Go back to the tabloid size file and press either Ctrl V on Windows or Command V on Mac. This will paste your image right in the middle in the correct size, 37.2 cm high by 22.6 cm width. All that there's left to do is to print it onto tabloid side cardstock paper and you should get something like this. If you want, you can cover your image with contact paper like I've done before to make it more durable. But since I have my vinyls on bags, I decided to skip this. Cut your images out. I use an X-Acto knife and an acrylic ruler. I made a tiny mistake by cutting a little inward accidentally. I decided to let it be and I placed some masking tape inside to avoid it from ripping further. Mark the folds on the tabs and in the middle with the help of a marking tool. I'm using a repurposed one. Once the folds are marked, I use the ruler to fold them properly. Then I cut the ends of the tabs at an angle. Using some glue stick, glue the tabs in place and bam, we're done. Bye. 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 This one, it didn't come with any artwork whatsoever, only a sleeve that is close to ripping completely. So I found the original artwork online and with some tweaking and following the previous steps, my vinyl went from this to this. What do you guys think? Finally, I have this one that the artwork is near perfect conditions. However, since it's paper, it's deemed to be damaged eventually, so I decided to make it last longer. Using an X-Acto knife, I open the tabs very carefully until the sleeve can open like this. 
with some spray adhesive or a glue stick, no liquid glue, spread a thin even layer on the back of the sleeve. Get some poster board and place your sleeve on top of the cardstock and smooth it as you go. Here you can cover it with contact paper if you like. After, cut it out, refold the folds using a marking tool and a ruler, glue the tabs in place, and bam! You finish your sleeve and they look super professional no matter what route you want to take. And that is it for this video guys, I hope you like it, if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget to come back next week to learn how to make the inner sleeve. You can follow me on my social medias at Crafter Training, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!